Welcome back to a new episode of 30 by 30 by Suave. Today is episode 4 if I'm not wrong and today I'm gonna show you how to make this. Today, Today's title is gonna be a sort of like a lower third title and it took me a while to figure out a couple of things because it has a lot of masking involved and then the duplicate tool also but let's get started so I don't take much of your time all right let's create a new fusion composition first of all and we're gonna create a background and let's make the background pink again and then the next thing that we need to do is create we're gonna duplicate these backgrounds just because and this one is this background is gonna be our circle so the first thing we need to do is to add an eclipse tool and we're gonna take the solid out and we're gonna take the border width and make it a little bit thicker but we cannot see that there right now because our background is selected as a screen so we're gonna go to merge and press 2 or you can also drag these over okay we see that there now let's make it a little bit and then the next step is to create a mask cutting one portion of this so for that we're gonna go to here and we're gonna use the polygon tool and it doesn't have to be super all right and there we have it oh but that's not working the reason behind that is because we need to first change the paint mode to subtract and then we invert it we can we have to keep the solid on on this one so that's what we have there so we have to go next step let's go to our background and press ctrl m if you're on windows or shift m in mac i think if i'm not wrong and we're gonna go to create a duplicate tool then the next thing we're gonna do is create how many copies we have we had six copies in the next one so we're gonna press six and in the angle we're gonna write 360 because that's the radius of a circle divided by the amount of copies that we have six so now we have all that and that's pretty much it, the base for the circle so we can we can actually animate it right now so then we don't have to worry about it later so let, let's let me show you how to animate it it had a couple different animations first of all another let me add an also i have to add a, a transform node so then we can resize it without having to without losing all of this because if we resize it here it's going to change like that but that's part of the animation also so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to where we want it to end as always go start from the back i guess you could say start from the end and we're going to adjust our size and we can also adjust the angle and then we're going to go back to we start at 10 size is going to go down and the angle is going to go a full circle let's see how that looks that's a little bit too much i think so let me just go back and put it at zero at 60 that's how it ends but we don't want that at 60 we want it to be there let's see how that looks that looks a little bit better so the next thing we can do is to create our sorry the next thing to animate would be our transform node we want it to the animation ends at 20 22 and we're gonna change the size here and also the angle so the angle at zero we're gonna go back here to 10 and we're gonna go back to let's see 180 I'm gonna turn the size down Whoop. we have to go the opposite way I think so it comes all of them come from the same direction 
and you can adjust that later however you want okay let's do that that's that's it for these for now and then the next step would be we can add another transform node To be able to move it around without it having any like effect on the keyframes because this node had some keyframes in it so we're gonna bring it down a little bit we can zoom in and the next step is to create a new background and connect it to this merger to create a new merger and this background is gonna be doesn't matter we have to mask it also so let's create a mask for the rectangle which is going to be that thing that pops up here make it thinner there that's a good position i think whoops i like to make it aligned so it doesn't look odd and then we're going to adjust the corner radius can make it a little bit longer too there and then the level we're gonna make it a little bit lower so it's sort of like opaque and then the next thing that we need to do is because we don't want this to show up here is to add a mask so the way i did it was to add a circle mask and i put it here and i added subtract and then in, and then i added the shape of it like a little egg or something and then I situated it there but let me see something so if you change if you move it here right now it's gonna you're gonna show up it's gonna show up here with the animation so we have to make sure we make the height of this bigger and we can move it a little bit It's a lot of like tweaking to make sure you have the right angle and position. Oop. It's not the one that I wanted. Then we're gonna make it a little bit higher. And that's it for now. We're not gonna play too much with it. We don't wanna take too long with you. I don't want to steal too much of your time. Okay, so the next thing, once the circle is ready, it ends at 22, is we're going to add the transform tool. I'm going to add a keyframe, keyframe 23 in the angle, the rotation, and then I'm going to go like five frames, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to rotate it. So it looks like it's this is the thing that's gonna make the rectangle go out. So this is the end again. This is where we want the rectangle to end the position. So we adjust the position and go back five frames. Whoops, one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna drag this rectangle. And as I told you before, you see how we can see that here? So we have to fix that. And let's make it a little bit taller. So it's gonna show up a little bit there, but it's not that big of a deal, you know? We can work with it. I'm gonna show, I'm sending you the original project too. I'm gonna let you download it. So then we have that animation ready. And the next thing that we have to do is to create our text. So we're gonna create a text. We're gonna connect it to these merger, create a new merger. And then we're gonna write main title or whatever title you have. And we're gonna put it in place. So that will be like your name or the name of a person that's showing up on screen or something. Gonna make it a little bit bigger. Then we're gonna copy and paste this with this selected. So it's gonna create a new merger. It's gonna look crazy, but it doesn't matter because you're gonna see everything there still. And then we're going to drag this one down, right? Whoops. 
secondary title. We're going to make it smaller. There. So one thing we have to do is to end to animate this is go to where check the keyframes of the rectangle. We're going to start it there and we're going to go and adjust the position of both of these. Here, and then we're going to go back there, five frames, and we're going to move these there. And you're not going to be able to see it right now because we still have to do something. We have to copy this Eclipse mask and add it to both of these text nodes. And then we have to invert this. So then when it goes out, it's going to go in the same time and speed. And another thing that I had was like an initial here. You can also add a picture or whatever you want. But for that, I just copied these again and creates a new merger. And this one has, and then I'm going to add an S from Swalby. And I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to try to adjust it and put it in the middle of the circle. And this one has the, all the keyframes. So we have to go here to position and then remove the path. But we still have to animate this letter. So we're going to go here, go one frame, one frame here to when the animation of the circle ends. And we're going to adjust the size. I'm going to go here, that's going to be zero, and then one frame, it's going to be one. So it's just going to, it's just going to pop up there. So the next thing that we want to do after everything is done is to animate it backwards. So we have to close on the animation. So for that, we have to go and do everything but backwards. The text animation is done there, and then we have to close this thing and make it smaller. So we can add another keyframe in 65 here. And then we can add a keyframe for the size and go one, two, three, four, five, or six frames. It doesn't really matter. We're going to adjust the size lower in that direction. And we also have to do the same thing for the S. So it's going to end at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to be 1. So it's going to close down there. And then this is the last merger. What I like to do is to add another transform node here because then we can move it around without affecting all the animations. So after you have everything done, we have to take the alpha of the background. We have to go all the way to black and then change the alpha. So then when we go back to our project, so we have to drag it there. Then you have that lower third type of title. So you can have your name or your Instagram ad here and all that. So that's it for today's video. And I hope that you learned something new today. And I will see you tomorrow on the next episode of 30 by 30 by Swabi. Peace.